John is a uh, is a typical average run of the mill St. Louis, and what does uh, the Blues in the Stanley Cup final mean to you? Uh, I don't know. I, I I really don't know. I have no experience with this. Uh, I wasn't around in 1970. I was negative one. Um, I've only been to one other Stanley Cup game in my life, and it was Kings Rangers and whatever that was, 2012, 11. Uh, it's exciting. Um, I, there's no other way to do it. When they got to the final, I immediately texted my best friend who lives in Australia, and I said, "Are you coming?" He goes, "No." I said, "Yeah, you are." <laughs> I flew him out. So uh, it's it's uh, it's just exciting. I mean, I can't imagine what's going through the the, the minds and, and the hearts of the boys on the bench. Uh, and I hope they can manage that emotion. Uh, but the building's going to be loud. Front right, Steven. John, everything going on in the city, the whole glory of fascination, do you get a sense of just how important, how much this run means to this city as, as a sports town? It's funny that this is happening when Cubs Cardinals are happening too because I was just down at the West End and there were a lot more people walking this way than we're walking that way. Um, and I think that's probably the first time in the history of the city that that's happened. Uh, it's a big deal. I mean, it's a really big deal. And I think that the whole Gloria phenomenon is just, it's another thing that, that is, especially for the guys on the team, but even more so for the people in the city, it's something to, to unite and to rally around. Uh, and I love that people have taken it up and, and ran, run with it. Front left. Kind of following up on that, John, uh, yesterday Pat Maroon was saying he felt like this city really needed this, this run, and especially in light of the Rams leaving and some of the other challenges it's faced. Uh, do you agree with that? And if so, why do you think the city needed this? Uh, sure. I mean, I think, you know, who says no to a Stanley Cup, A? But, uh, yeah, we could use a win. You know, it's been a, it's been a rough run for the city in the last three decades or so. Um, with the odd Cardinals championship here and there and, and whatnot, but it's uh, it would be nice in a million different for a million different reasons. Uh, but, but mostly, I think I really think for the guys on this team. When you look back, whatever it was, January second, last in the league, and to to have the guts and the fortitude and the strength and the character and the and the skill to to come back from that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think these guys believe, and I think the city's starting to. Back right. Hey, John, uh, after that famous Ivan Barbashev goal call, did you have a chance to know him personally? And maybe, uh, maybe after that, after that call, when you watch Blues games, do you follow him? I don't know, specifically. Uh, I, I actually did. I went down, downstairs after the game in L.A., and we took a picture, and I said, I called your goal. And he said, I know, I heard. It's really weird. Uh, and um, I do follow him. You know, that, uh, obviously, if you're paying attention, that, that fourth line – has been so devastating for us. They've been do, doing such a great job. It's going to be interesting to see how they how they react to uh, to not having Sunquist in there. But uh, Barbashev, yeah, I mean, he was he was it was such a great goal, and he's he's had such a good run, especially in the playoffs. Just it's been so fun to watch. Right side, second row. John, could you um, sh just share a little bit of? where your fandom started, you know, give us a little bit of the history. And then secondly, um, as somebody here from the Boston Globe, I'm curious if you attended any of the World Series that were played between the Cardinals and the Red Sox and generally yeah, how you feel about New England sports and their run. Huh. I have very strong opinions about New England sports. <laughs> <laughs> very few of them are positive. Uh, it's been an interesting back and forth between St. Louis and Boston, hasn't it? Uh, pick your sport, and we've got, uh, we've got kind of beef, don't we? Um, my, my history with the team goes back to the old barn on, on Oakland, uh, the old um, stadium, the arena, or the checker dome, or whatever you call it. Um, my dad used to literally just, when we would drive down Highway 40, or as we say here in St. Louis, Highway Farty, um, if, the, if they were in town and he saw the marquee light up, he'd say, you want to go to the hockey game? I'd say, you know, I was a little kid, yeah. And those are back in the days when you could smoke in an arena. Uh, so the top third of the, of the whole building was just smoke. Uh, but it was, still, it, was, you know, it was still so exciting uh, to watch, especially as a little kid. It was just these guys like flying around the ice. and It's like nothing you've ever seen. Uh, so it goes back to, to being a little kid and then being around for a lot of heartbreak and a lot of expectations that we didn't quite live up to, uh, and a lot of, uh, but a lot of fun. And, and I've known versions of these, this, this team for some time now, and it's, uh, 
it's funny when you when you start to see it all click together and lock in it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty great thing to watch and like I said I think these guys are 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 locked in they, they certainly look like it uh vis-a-vis -vis Boston um I do like working in Boston I've made a couple movies in Boston uh but I would like our team to win uh, I did. I actually, um, I went in uh, 13. Uh, I went to one of the games in Boston in 13, and then I came and saw us lose in game six here. Uh, still not over that one. Front row and center. Uh, John, I've ran into a lot of Cards fans the last couple of days because it's Cards Cubs, and a lot of them have told me they would trade a World Series title for a Stanley Cup. Probably hyperbole, but what do you think it says of the the hunger and the love affair between the city and this hockey team. Why not both? I mean, you know, I don't want to get greedy, but come on. I mean, we're here. Uh, part of it really is just the, the, the novelty of it, you know, and, and finally getting this far for the first time in 49 years. Um, and I, I really do think, like, who cares what I think? You know, I'm honestly like an actor that is just a fan of the team. You, you could pull anybody off the concourse and they'll say the same thing, but I think that people are really, uh, in a different way this year, believers. Uh, I think it says a lot. We'll do four more questions, front left. Hey, John, thanks for doing this. Uh, you're NHL commissioner for a day. You can literally do anything you want to the NHL. <laughs> what would you do? I would, I would look at that hand pass review rule. Uh, <laughs> um, I, you know, I th look, the refs have gotten it hard this, this whole playoffs. And it's, you know, I think even, even with the Sunquist call, this game moves now more than ever at light speed. And they're only human. I, 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 don't, I don't hold it against them. It's how, you, it's how you come back from that adversity that really, I think, defines you as a team. And I think the coach... And this team get that. They understand that it's, it's not about, oh, man, they got it in for us. All right, well, kill the penalty off and, and go score. Um, and if you lose, come back and win the next game. And they've shown a remarkable ability to do that. And I think a lot of that is Bennington's ice water, RoboCop, whatever he is. Um, but I think it's, it's, it's also the guys on the team that are, that are there for, for each other, and they, they help each other out. Front left. Hey, what's going on, John? Um, what are some of your favorite, like, St. Louis sports culture type things, maybe from growing up or maybe some commercials or, I mean, things like that, maybe players from the past? Well, I, there's too many to mention. One of my, one of my, <laughs> my favorite things in St. Louis is there, there's a place here called Sportsman's Park that, that's a bar and a restaurant, and you go there for chicken wings and whatnot. And we would go after football games or what have you. One wall of that place used to be, I don't even know if it's still there anymore, but used to be just a giant blown up picture of the blown call by Don Denkinger in 1885. 1985, and it's just like, that's how good we are at holding grudges. <laughs> we're we're going to make that wall size and still get angry every day at it. Um, so my, my, I guess my oldest, like, one of my oldest memories is, is going to Cardinal games, you know, and, and as a kid, 10-year-old, 11-year-old in 82, my dad took me to game one and game seven, and we lost game one and we won game seven, and I've never, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't think, I didn't think, I, I was a Cardinal fan throughout the 70s. It was like, I didn't think we would ever go to a World Series, much less win one. So I was just kind of wandering around. People, no one knew what to do. Everyone was just kind of randomly screaming. I, I think if this happens, it's going to be that times infinity. Last question, back right. Uh, John, I look at your early acting days, I think, uh, we didn't know who John Hamm was. We were soldiers. I watched it. You only had that bright, you only had that short moment, but boy, you shined in, uh, what, a minute plus, uh, I think your dying scene. Um, and you think of guys, Gunnarsson the other night comes in, he wasn't even supposed to play, comes in because of an injury. Do you see some commonality between the doubts, the struggles of your early acting days and uh, hockey players coming of age? It's a stretch. <laughs> That's what I do. But I'll, but I'll allow it. Um, you know, look, again, I think these guys, I really think these guys, unlike, unlike, you know, really anybody I've been around, I think any professional athlete has, operates at a level that is, they're truly elite. 
you know, these guys have been the best player on their team at every team they've ever played on at every level from Pee Wee on up. And I think when they the, – the true differentiation between champions and, and second place is, is the guys that play for each other. Um, these guys really do. And uh, it's really fun to watch. I don't know. Like, it's, it's – we're not – it's not Connor McDavid or, or, you know, Matthews or any of these, these wonderkins running around. It's guys dumping the puck in, playing the forecheck, playing old – kind of old school hockey and playing it really well. And when they do it, they do it better than anybody else. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic, uh, cautiously optimistic. Uh, but I think, I think these guys are something special. And uh, Gunnarsson's a perfect example of that. Give me, you know, taking a leak next to Barubi and going, give me one more chance. <laughs> All right, here's another chance. Oh, it went in. Cool. Use that urinal again. 